Over the years, we've been treated to some truly jaw-dropping highlights from some of the game's brightest upcoming stars, only to see them understandably struggle to meet the burden of those lofty expectations. Today, we're looking back at some of these legendary moments and seeing what these guys are up to. Here are where some of the most viral mixtape legends are at now. Before he single-handedly saved the slam dunk contest, Mac McClung was one of the most viral basketball players of all time thanks to his monster scoring outbursts and high-flying dunks dating back to his days at Gate City High School. McClung was a high school phenom who not only set the all-time Virginia State scoring record with 2,801 points, but was also a standout football player who played quarterback and safety. But even though he was named Virginia High School League's Class 2 Football Player of the Year as a senior, his one true love has always been basketball. McClung took his talents to Georgetown University where he averaged 13 points, 3 rebounds, and 2 assists per game, leading the Big East freshman in scoring and making the Big East All-Freshman team. McClung played one more injury shortened year at Georgetown before declaring and later withdrawing from the 2020 NBA draft. He then transferred to Texas Tech where he continued to be a bucket, averaging around 16 points per game and making the all Big 12 second team. McClung's viral dunks didn't just draw the attention of basketball fans worldwide, but even celebrities like Drake had to take notice. In fact, Drizzy once invited McClung to play in his annual OVO bounce tournament in Toronto. Unfortunately for Mac, his incredible scoring and explosive athleticism weren't enough to win scouts over and he went undrafted in 2021. Over the next few seasons, he made brief appearances for the Lakers and the Bulls and is now playing for the 76ers G League affiliate, the Delaware Bluecoats. But just as Mac and his incredible dunks were falling out of the public eye, he reminded everyone just how special he is during the 2023 NBA All-Star Weekend. Mac not only won the dunk contest, but he got his well-earned flowers from some of the game's Mount Rushmore talents, including Steph Curry, Magic Johnson, and Shaq. While the entire Ball family has no shortage of viral moments thanks in part to their hit reality show Ball in the Family, Leangelo Ball's impressive court performances made him a high school star in his own right. Not only did he once drop 56 and 72 points in back-to-back -back nights, but he graduated from Chino Hills as their all-time leading scorer. Following in the footsteps of his older brother Lonzo, Leangelo secured a spot on UCLA's roster as a sophomore in high school, but unfortunately his college career didn't go as planned. Quickly into his freshman year, Ball made an unfortunate decision to steal a pair of sunglasses from a Louis Vuitton store in Shanghai alongside two of his fellow freshman teammates. Ball's career move might have gone very differently had the United States president not secured his release as he faced 3-10 to 10 years in prison for his actions. Once back home and looking at a full year NCAA suspension, Ball had no choice but to withdraw from UCLA and go abroad to reestablish his draft value. Ball ended up having a short but memorable stint in Lithuania alongside his little brother Lamelo. He averaged around 13 points and 3 rebounds in his lone year with Pranay of the Lithuanian Basketball League, but still went undrafted in 2018. Leangelo then spent some time playing in LeVar's JBA League before trying to make the NBA through the G League. Since 2021, Leangelo has bounced around the G League, spending the majority of his time with the Hornets affiliate, the Greensboro Swarm. He most recently made headlines in the 2022 Summer League where he averaged nearly 10 points per game in just 17 minutes. And while he hasn't cracked an NBA roster yet, at only 24, he still has plenty of time. While the most viral basketball moments happen while the players are in high school, Julian Newman has been going viral since he was 10 years old. Dubbed a prodigy child by some, Newman first went viral off his YouTube highlight videos as he played varsity ball as a 5th grader. Newman was written about in countless publications like Sports Illustrated and the New York Times and even made TV appearances on Steve Harvey, The Ellen DeGeneres Show, and Good Morning America, among others. As a 6th grader, he averaged around 17 points per game and the following year he became the youngest player to record a thousand career varsity points. As Newman got older, he continued to put up more and more points and the views kept pouring in. The most famous moment of his youth career included a 52 point performance in a highlight video from a game against Kyrie Walker at the Middle School Hoops TV camp that received over 13 million views. By the time he was a sophomore in high school, Newman had already passed the Florida prep record for points set by Teddy Dupay in 1998. He then followed it up with a monster junior year averaging approximately 35 points, 5 rebounds, 7 assists and 4 steals before transferring to Prodigy Prep, a new school created by his father for his senior year. There were rumblings that Newman might go play in China or the NBL in Australia after high school, but due to his 5'7 stature, nothing ever materialized for the talented young man. But despite never playing professional basketball, Newman has stayed in the public eye and continues to hoop. He currently plays in the Creator League and recently joined the Team Challenge ALS for TBT 2022. 
Taco Fall is a Senegalese professional basketball player whose journey to the NBA reads like a Hollywood script. Fall was raised in Dakar, Senegal and began making waves in 2011 as the 15-year-old Fall was already a whopping 7 foot 3. After former NBA player Mamadou Njai saw him play, he convinced Fall's mom to let him attend Njai's basketball academy and make a run at professional basketball. A year later, he moved to Houston, Texas for high school and trained with NBA Hall of Famer Hakeem Olajuwon. Eventually, Fall made his way to Liberty Christian Prep in Florida, where he averaged roughly 20 points, 15 rebounds, and 5 blocks per game. Nearly 40 colleges expressed interest in the young man, but he ultimately decided to stay in Florida and join the UCF Knights in 2014, where he stayed for the next four seasons. At one point in his college career, Fall had a crazy full circle moment when he faced off against a fellow Senegalese center who shared the same name as the man who was so pivotal to his basketball career. The tip-off against Mamadou Njai, who was 7'6", became the tallest tip-off and matchup in U.S. college basketball history. Fall significantly improved his game over the four years of college and broke several records at the 2019 Draft Combine for his imposing measurements. He set the all-time record for tallest height in shoes, the longest wingspan, and the highest standing reach. Even though Fall went undrafted, he signed an Exhibit 10 contract with the Celtics the very next day and spent the next two years with Boston becoming a fan favorite despite averaging just 6.5 minutes per game. The next season, he split time between the Cavs and their G League team before joining the Xinjiang Flying Tigers of the CBA this summer. Fall is currently making a real impact on the club while averaging around 14 points, 10 rebounds, and 3 blocks per game. Up next with what might be the most legendary mixtape of all time is 7th Woods. Woods began his varsity career at Hammond School in the 8th grade and the following year as a true freshman, he led them to the SCISA Class AAA State Championship game. But his whole world changed at 14 years old when the Columbia, South Carolina native put together a hoop mixtape video that spread like wildfire. Today it has over 16.2 million views, the most ever on their page. Woods did his best to ignore all the noise from all the TV shows and commercial opportunities and he put his head down and helped his team win the state championship his junior year. Then as a senior he averaged around 19 points, 5 rebounds, 5 assists and 4 steals per game and found himself at the center of a recruiting war between US UNC and the University of South Carolina. Woods ended up choosing UNC and became a national champion in 2017, although he was pretty much a non-factor during the finals. Woods never quite lived up to his title of 2016 South Carolina Mr. Basketball and part of that was due to an injury his sophomore year and part was the emergence of Kobe White his junior year. Either way, there wasn't room for Woods on UNC's roster and he ended up transferring to South Carolina for his senior year before playing his final season of eligibility for Morgan State. Seventh Woods went undrafted in 2022 and has kept a low profile since, though there's still plenty of time for that to change. Last but certainly not least is the only active NCAA player on the list, Jordan McCabe. While most basketball players go viral for their incredible dunking abilities, it was McCabe's dribbling that launched him into the limelight. At only 12 years old, McCabe's handles were so electric that he was featured on multiple TV segments and even made an appearance on the Ellen DeGeneres show. While just a kid, McCabe performed at halftime shows at both the college and professional levels, including one of the biggest stages in the NBA, the All-Star Game. At just 13 years old and in the seventh grade, the Harlem Globetrotters drafted him, intending to sign him once he graduated from college but McCabe proved that he was more than just a flashy handle. During his sophomore year, he led his Wisconsin varsity team to their state championship and was named the Fox Valley Association Player of the Year. As a senior, he once again won the state championship after dropping 32 points and the game-winning bucket with just 3.5 seconds remaining. McCabe took home even more hardware this year, earning 2018's Wisconsin Mr. Basketball, the Jerry West Award for his impressive ball handling skills, and another VVA Player of the Year award, although this time he shared the VVA honor with Tyrese Halliburton. McCabe was in high demand with colleges but opted to commit to West Virginia during his junior year despite having offers from DePaul, Minnesota, and Missouri, among others. Unfortunately, his time in West Virginia wasn't quite what both sides had hoped for. While McCabe led West Virginia in total assists his rookie year, he struggled to score the ball and never averaged more than 5.8 points per game for the Mountaineers. McCabe ended up transferring to UNLV his senior year, where he's playing today. McCabe is draft eligible in 2023, but it's unlikely that the 6-foot point guard will be drafted despite having elite dribbling and court vision. 
But while McCabe may not have a pro basketball career, he's still an incredibly popular and well-liked player. He currently does a podcast with Overtime and posts his own YouTube content, so it seems like he's going to be around the game for many years to come. Thanks for watching. Of course, be sure to drop a like and subscribe if you're new. We're currently dropping two videos a week that you're not going to want to miss out on. But right now, only about 1% of our audience is currently subscribed. So hit that subscribe button and ring the notification bell to stay up to date on all things basketball.